Hey, what's happening, guys? It's your boy Tristan, down in MLG Mario Kart. With a slightly less energetic intro than the last episode. But I hope you guys are excited. We're back with Star Wars Battlefront 2, of course, as you can see from the screen. As I'm looking at the camera that I use to record commentary, I'm looking at that as if you're looking at me. Which is not the case. It's not the case. It is. Regardless, guys, it's straight into a fucking space battle we go. Damn right. So I have a feeling, and I was noticing this, and they're not using anything again, which is lovely. Um, I had a feeling right before I started recording this episode, I looked at the setup that they've got going on with their planets and with mine, and I think this space battle is going to go down, and then I have a feeling they're going to initiate another space battle. Uh, what I'm going to do is, in between battles, I'm going to buy the Rebel Marine which is like the assault rifle guy for space. Um, I'm going to buy him, and I'm going to take a completely different approach to the second space battle, if that's what ends up happening. So for this one, I am going to be a rebel pilot, and I'm going to use a Y-Wing bomber. I really hope I remember how to do all of the controls for this, by the way. <laughs> What? I feel like... I feel like there was a... Where's the zoo? Or where's the, the fucking boost? Ah! Who is shooting me? The fuck? These dudes... No! What? There was totally a boost. There was totally a boost. And I have a sneaking suspicion that it has to do with this controller. Let's see here. Uh, controls. Starfighter controls. Where's L3? And my dog is barking, so this is really getting off to a good start here. Alright, I'm gonna go let my dog in really quick. You guys are just gonna have to deal with the silence. I'm actually gonna take this controller out as fancy as it may be. And I'm going to switch to this controller. Because while it is not a DualShock, I'm pretty sure all the buttons work on it. So that's always a good thing. Oh, God damn it. Oh, please, for the love of Christ. All right, I think that should work now. I have, my problem is I'm trying to use this like clear controller that I have because it looks cooler, but I don't think it works. So I'm gonna be right back, gonna let my dog in. Brody, if you start whining in here, I'm going to be rip shit. Alright. And it's four minutes in and I've gotten nothing accomplished. Alright. We're down though. Wait, what? Alright, it was showing me the Empire for- No, you bitch! What the fuck? That's my Y-Wing! I have no ships now. <laughs> God damn. Alright, we're not using anything but a Y-Wing, just because the Y-Wing is the best. Alright. All right, good. So that it just that didn't work then. All right, so that's to shoot the main gun. All right, so the strategy that I'm gonna take. Oh my god, these bitches, dude! These fucking auto turrets. Um, the strategy that I'm gonna go with here is to destroy all of the. Oh, that's right. I forgot about the shields. Um, I'm going to destroy all of the main systems, because that nets you a shitload of points. And way more so than fucking dealing with, sh you know, the, the people ship to ship in, like, dogfights. 
So we're just gonna worry about the shields here. We're gonna stay underneath just because we don't want to get shot by those auto turrets. And I just wasted a bomb there, by the way. Oh, I wasted a shitload of bombs. God damn. Pretty sure those ones aren't gonna hit either. God, wow, I'm really fucking up right now. This is bad. Alright, let's go up top then. See if that helps my shittiness at all. Alright. So you just, I mean, the, the space battles, when you play it like this, it's kind of mundane. After, especially after, like, millions of them. Um, they kind of start to get a little bit mundane. But, uh... And I'm pretty sure I just shot those over. God, wow, I'm really, I'm really fucking up right now. But it's basically just fucking hack and slash at everything that's, you know, everything on the Imperial Star Destroyer. That should, yeah, alright, that should destroy the shields. And then we're just gonna go, we're just gonna go fucking piece to piece right now. Oh, I didn't even realize they had frigates. That's probably what was shooting me. Oh, getting that fucking combat roll going. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Oh, I'll do that crazy fucking turn, and I don't know where I am. <laughs> Alright. So, we should be able to... Maybe not. <laughs> God damn. Alright, well, another pass. Another pass. We got it. Oh my goodness, Brody. If you start whining, I'm going to kill you. Alright, so they got no communications relay, which means absolutely nothing in the grand scheme of things, except for the fact that I've gotten a bunch of points. So, let's destroy the engines now. We're, I mean, it kind of, unfortunately, kind of gets mundane when I do it like this, but I just want to... Since I'm going to have to do a bunch of space battles anyways, I just kind of want to show you guys um, all of your options. You know, just for those of you who are watching, this is more of a strategy guide. Which I doubt you are, but if there is anybody, you know, we've got to keep getting... Our frigate defenses, what?! Alright, right after I finish these engines, I am fucking kicking their frigate's asses right now, <laughs> like... You best know it. Damn, they got, like, more points than us, which I can't even accept right now. Wait, where the fuck am I? Dude! <laughs> where the fuck is this other engine? Oh, I thought the left engine was the one that I hadn't destroyed. Oh my god, I've been upside down the whole fucking time. You gotta be shitting me. Alright. <laughs> That's another thing with space battles. You fucking have no idea whether you're upside down, right side up, sideways. You lose control of yourself a lot. Alright, their engines have been destroyed, so let's, um, let's go after these frigates. The frigates don't really have anything special about them, except that they've got auto turrets on them, so it's kind of difficult sometimes to get a lot of passes in a row, because sometimes their, their turrets are, like, amazing. Ah! And then sometimes that happens, too. Alright. Let's go. Just gotta wait for your boost. You gotta use your boosts really, really effectively here. Fuck, I think I hit their auto turret with a couple of my bombs, so I didn't get a ton of damage on. That sucks. What? These dudes are going ham up in here! Alright, we gotta... We gotta, go, we gotta get some shit together right now. <laughs> like, They are actually fighting back pretty decent right now, so... Alright, we got one of their... Oh no, get back under this... Get back under the Star Destroyer, Tristan, come on. Another thing about the... Uh, you probably noticed it by now, but another thing about the... Uh, the pilots, if you choose... The pilot in any faction, um, they heal your ship, so... If you can fucking stay alive long enough and not get shot... Oh, and my dudes have... No! <laughs> Damn it! You couldn't leave me alive for one more bombing thing. You son of a bitch. Alright, nobody better be taking this Y-Wing from me. Alright, let's go. 
Oh, one of these days. One of these days I should, uh, I mean, ah, it's kind of... It's kind of difficult to justify doing an entire thing on that. But uh, there's a glitch with the Imperials where... Dude! The fuck? Sometimes they just go ham on you. Um, there's a glitch with the Imperials where if you get a TIE Fighter and you go out just out of the, um... Of the hangar bay. Is he about to... <laughs> that idiot! What the fuck, man? Come on, that was hilarious. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, fuck me. Uh, but if you go... If you go just out of the, uh... Of the hangar bay, and then you exit your ship, you can walk outside of the Star Destroyer for, like, unlimited amounts of time. And if you have a Vanguard, it's kind of fun. Um, because I think you can lock on to ships with your rocket launcher, because he also has a rocket launcher. <laughs> it's fun to fucking walk onto the, uh, the Starfighters with your rocket launcher. Damn right, that's what I'm fucking talking about. But yeah, one of these days maybe I'll show you that glitch, just because it's kind of, it's just kind of funny. Um... I don't know how I got one kill, but all right, I'm down. 116 points regardless, so I'll take that. But uh, yeah, that glitch is that glitch is a lot of fun. I haven't done it in years, so it'll be kind of fun to try it again. And if you hear me eating, by the way, it's I'm eating Pringles tortillas nacho cheese, which are delicious. It's pretty much amazing. It's basically Pringles Doritos, but they're like not overwhelming with the nacho cheesiness. So it's pretty decent. It's pretty decent. All right. So we will save, save, save. Lots of saving. That's all we do in the series. And it's like not even necessary because I don't even have to bother because I'm just gonna have another battle after this. So. Regardless, if anything were to go wrong, this PS2 actually is shitting the bed. I've had it. I've I've told the story of, during the series about how long I've had this PS2 for. I don't have enough money to get the Rebel Vanguard. That's fucking malarkey. That is fucking malarkey. All right, well we're still doing the other strategy just because I don't want to show you guys the same thing twice. Oh, fuck me. They knew I was going to do what I'm going to do. That's bullshit. <laughs> Alright, well, the, the strategy that I'm going with, and I'm going to try to go with, if it doesn't end up working out, I'll just start shooting the... I'll start shooting the systems from the outside again. But you can sabotage their support systems from the inside as well. Um, once you go into their hangar... But they used auto turrets, so that's going to be a lot more hard, a lot more hard, a lot more difficult. So, but hopefully it goes well. Hopefully it goes well. And you can even destroy their auto turrets, um, which is awesome. Like, they're, they're external auto turrets, like the... Ah, no! Alright, good. <laughs> Fuck. Almost just fucked that up for days. Alright, so, the reason I picked this for the strategy that we're doing now is because this one, this uh, Rebel gunship, which is actually, hilariously enough, the same as the Republic gunship. I don't know why they have the same one in this game. But, uh, it acts as a command post once you get it into the enemy hangar, which is pretty cool, I must say. That's a pretty cool touch. Um... Um, whoever made this game's part, I think it was Pandemic or something like that, I don't remember. Oh, I think I just destroyed it by hitting it. That's pretty cool. Okay, good. Alright, so... Ah, uh, no! That time bomb's gonna kill the thing, though, I bet. No, 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 this is, no, this is ours, no, I didn't want to do that, no, I don't want to go in there either, 
Oh, guys! Oh! Can I go to another? Ah, no, I can't! Alright, we're using the A-Wing, then. Because it'd be fast as fuck. Alright. The A-Wing is, like, my favorite fucking ship, by the way. Actually, it might be a tie between the A-Wing and the B-Wing. I must say, because the B-Wing is pretty dope as well. Actually, nah. I'm saying the A-Wing is my favorite. No, 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 no! It also has no shields, though. Which is pretty bad. <laughs> Oh no, they got rid of the thing! Oh, that's a heartbreaker! Alright, we're doing this. Alright, regardless, we're doing this. Okay. Let our pistol go down. You just gotta... Alright. It's, you can really do this with either faction, or not faction, you can really do this with, well, yeah, you can do it with either faction, but, um, you can really do this with either type of, uh, space character, whether it be the pilot or the, um, the vanguard, because the, the vanguard, or the marine's rocket launcher works really well for destroying these things, and the thermal detonators as well, but I think the time bomb is a little bit better. Just because you can replenish it a little bit easier. Oh, come on. Don't be shooting at me. Don't be shooting at me. He might, if he just destroyed the fucking... Ah! And, then, and that dude just runs right by me. I'll take it. I will take it. And as you can see, you can destroy the shield generator as well, which is cool. I... If I remember correctly, it doesn't... Yeah, it doesn't die as fast. I'm not going to be able to... Ah, you bitch! Oh, I really wish he'd given me a red thing. That would have been much better. But yeah, you can destroy... You can destroy the shields, you can destroy the... Fuck, what is... And I should be burning alive right now, by the way. You can destroy the shields, you can destroy the auto turret defense mainframe, which is cool. And that only takes two of them. Their auto turret defenses have been disabled. Ah! ah! No! Oh, does it glitch? It glitches! Fuck yeah! It glitches! Fuck yeah! Alright. Alright, so we're gonna head straight back into the shield generator room. And destroy their shields for good. And as you can see, this is a little bit closer of a way to, uh, to go up against them. Their shields have been disabled. But I think it's a lot more fun, especially when you have the, uh, the marine. The marine, I think... Because the marine is easier to kill the people with, because you've got a, um... Because you've got an assault rifle, so it's just, you know, it's just generally easier to go about doing what you need to do. But, uh, if you want to use the pilot, I say the time bombs are a little bit better as far as... overall... destroying the systems, I guess. Alright. Oh, you bitch! You are not destroying me! So, alright, so that's the life support system down. In a second, there we go, there we go. And unfortunately, though, this is actually as far as you can go from the inside of. Oh, shit. Oh no, there's somebody's already taking the TIE Bomber! I don't want a TIE Interceptor, though, they suck ass! Alright, I'm down. So let's go after their frigates next, just because I think that's probably good. But that's how you... that's the only systems you can actually destroy from the inside, unfortunately. Um, is this the shields, the 
auto turret defense, the life support, and the engines are the only ones that you can take out, which honestly kind of sucks. It'd be really cool if you could take like the whole ship down. That would be pretty neat, I must say. God damn! And unfortunately, I think he heal. I think your guy heals the ship fat or slower with the enemy ships. Unfortunately. All right, we got to get back in this right now. <laughs> they are, they are fast. They are quickly making us look like fools right now. Yo, where the fuck is the thing? Oh, here we go. oh, and that's another thing. I just didn't even realize that until the last second. That is another thing that is really... That's really weird with this space battle system. You saw that countdown in the beginning. Or not in the beginning, but just like two seconds ago where it was saying, like, incoming missile. Uh, people can lock on you with missiles, and it'll say that countdown, and the smaller the numbers get, the, um... Basically, the smaller the numbers get, the closer it is to you. And you want to do those maneuvers, which I'm going to do in a second, you want to do that a bunch, and it'll eventually, like, shake the missile, and you'll be able to go on your merry way, so that's, that's pretty decent, but, uh... That's just another element of the space battles. I can't, I actually honestly can't wait that just wasted all of my fucking bombs. That's a load of bullshit. <laughs> Those totally fucking hit. No, bitch. The relay has ah! <laughs> ah! Somebody help me! I already destroyed their engines, though. I'm gonna go under the ship. Under the ship! ourselves fully healed. I don't even know what I was fucking saying right there. It was just like super concentrate mode. Mm, oh yeah, I can't wait to see what the space battles are like in the new Star Wars Battlefront, because that would be pretty cool. Um, I wonder if they have any new ships. I don't think there are... Well, I mean, there are a couple ships they could put in. Obviously, I was talking about the B-Wing before. That isn't even in this game. Um... Yeah, damn right. We're getting places now. Actually, wait a minute. What other systems do they have? Oh, all right. They've got the bridge. Oh, that's right. The bridge. I totally forgot about the bridge. No! No! <laughs> I had like an assload of missiles coming in at me that time. Oh, shit. Alright, so we're going after the sensor array this time. But yeah, they could add in, like, the B-Wing. They could add in a bunch of different land vehicles. I know there's a bunch of land vehicles that didn't make it into... into this game or the first one. So they could add in a bunch of those. The B-Wing, there's... God, I'm trying to think of, like, all the tanks that they... Did they put in? Oh no, they did put in the Naboo, the Naboo tank thing. I remember now. They did put that into the first game at least. Oh, but a Super Star Destroyer would be cool. I just that you know would be pretty deep if they made in the next in the next um, game because you fight inside the Death Star in this game. But. Hell yeah. Oh shit, we need five more things though. And they have no <laughs> dogfighting time. Let's go. Oh shit, what did I just hit? Oh no. Honestly, I might as well just leave this up to my teammates at this point. Yeah, we've got one thing left. We'll just we'll just chill out in here for a while. I'll actually get into an auto turret. No! I wanna get into an auto turret! Move, 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 move. Oh no, we won! Damn it! All right, well, regardless, I would. They put in a battle where you could fight in the Death Star, though. In this one, I would hope to God. I really hope that they put in like the Death Star space battles into 
the new game because that would be so fucking sick to play in the game. That would just that would be so sick. Like you can't even deny that. Those are like the two most epic parts of. I mean, there's the Battle of Hoth, which is pretty decent. That's pretty cool. But the two Death Star battles were like the two most epic moments in the entire original saga, or series, or trilogy, or whatever you want to call it. So if they if they captured that in the game, that would be that would make my day. That would make my year, um, definitely. Because although I'm not going to be able to own the game and play it regularly, my boy Mark, he's been on the channel before. Shout out to my buddy Mark. He's probably going to get it. And you best know that we're going to be playing. And I'm probably, I might bring, I might ask him if I can bring over the capture card. You know, he was down to do Five Nights at Freddy's. Maybe he'll be down to do Star Wars Battlefront Three. You never know. You never know. Also, we're probably going to end up doing. Um, we may or may not do a, end up doing more Five Nights at Freddy's stuff. We'll see. We will see. <laughs> I'm not making any promises. So I don't want to like I don't want to get anybody's panties in a bunch, but uh, ooh, we got a cliffhanger here. We got a decision to make, guys. Um, not gonna leave this decision up to the comments, considering I'm probably gonna either record later tonight or keep recording again now. But uh, anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed those two battles, those two a very spacey episode, I suppose we could say. Now be sure to like, comment, rate. Wait a minute. Rate's not even a thing anymore. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, dig us, like us on Facebook, support us on Patreon, because I totally have one of those, but it's not linked in the comments. Just look up MLG Mario Kart on Patreon. Even a dollar helps. We can get, like, some fucking snacks <laughs> while we're recording um, to keep us nourished and keep us at our most MLG. Um, but yeah, guys. I hope you guys have a good day after watching this. Because, you know, that's just the thing. <laughs> I don't even fucking know at this point. Peace out, guys. It's been your boy. Stay tuned for more.